<laughs> you look so mean. Okay, so we have mom here. Hi, mom. Well, hi, grandma. How do you feel? My mom. That's what she wants to be called. My baby could call me grandma if that's what she feels when she gets older. But my mom, because you know. <laughs> she don't want to be called granny, grandma, nanny, none of that. Nana, no. I like Mimi, but she doesn't like Mimi. She likes my mom. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I have questions for you because I basically already answered the questions that you were supposed to ask me. So, you ready? Mm-hmm. Well, first off, how do you feel about being a grandma? Um, I'm excited. I'm really excited. I can't wait. Um, she's my only child. I don't know if you know. So, um, I only had one baby almost 25 years ago. So, I mean, there's been a lot of babies in my life. My nieces, my nephews, godchildren. But this baby will be like my baby. Like, we have a baby again. Did you, well, I told you. I was, it says, how did you find out I was pregnant? I told you. She told me on a plane going no, to Mexico. I didn't tell you on a plane. I told you the day before we left. The day before we left? I thought you told me when we were. No, when we walked to... in my room and I was packing, and I was like, I gotta tell you something. Oh, and I said, You're pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> so I saw your reaction. I saw your reaction in my face, but what was your real reaction? Like after you left me face to face, or when you was with Ja, or whatever? Like, what was your reaction? Um, I mean. She's old enough. She's not 17 in high school. She graduated college. She has a good job. So, I mean, she's 24. I had her at 19. So, I didn't have a reaction. It's, 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 she's ready to be a mom, then that's, that's fine. She can do so. She's well prepared, you know, financially, edu educational. Like, it's not a problem. I, and you low key wanted to break it. I know. I probably thought she could have waited a few, a couple of more years so she can enjoy her job more but it is what it is oh this is cute what has been the most rewarding thing about being a mom um being a mom is all is rewarding in itself like being pregnant and giving birth and just looking at your baby raising your baby watching your baby grow and just become a woman and now you're becoming a mother my baby's having a baby so this is like this is this is another reward. I don't know. This is the final reward Indeed, that you get, girl. yeah, from raising your children. And she's she's such a good girl. She was a good baby. She was a good girl. I never had any problems out of this kid right here. This was a great kid, and um, just the the reward has been great. Everything, the whole journey. Um, what was the hardest thing about being a mom? The hardest thing about being a mom is just... Wow, our neighbors are disrespectful. <laughs> worrying and, you know, you always worry. You worry about everything about your children. Everything. So just, I guess that's the hardest thing about being a mom is just worrying so much that their, their well-being is always well. And that nothing happens to them and that you're doing the best job that you can do. So that's like the hardest thing is just worrying about everything being perfect and nothing's perfect, but just being able to take care of them and making sure that they have a good life. I think I said the same thing. I, Apple asked me a question that like, what would be the scariest thing for me? And I said, just bring a baby into this world, like the ways of the world now. Like I already have anxiety, so when she gets here, I feel like my anxiety is gonna be times 10. Yeah, I worry. You worry about your kids. Even when they grown. Even when they grown, you worry about your kids. When you was at college, oh my goodness. When you were at college, in college, like that was like every night I was up just worrying, like just please let her be safe. Like so. Yeah, I can't even imagine. Wait, where were you when you found out you were pregnant or when did you find out you was pregnant? Like what was your reaction to my dad? Oh well, um I had I had some um, ovarian cysts. So I had had one that ruptured on my ovary and I had to go be rushed to the um, emergency room. And when I got to the emergency room, they ran all the tests and stuff and they came back and told me that I was pregnant. And I was like, what? That's I, mad annoying. I was like, what? I'm pregnant. Yeah, that part. I, I, I went for a ruptured cyst and no idea that they were going to come back and tell me that. But from, from that moment that they told me, it was never a doubt in my mind that I was not having her. 
How far along were you? Um, six weeks. All right, anything for me, Mavu? Um, What are some of your cravings you had or had? I answered these. Well, just I, think of questions on the top of your head that you want to ask me, your daughter. I don't know, we talk every day. I can't think of, I can't, I can't, I, what are you anticipating? Just meeting her. I'm anticipating meeting her. I can't wait to like travel with her. That's I'm so happy about that. Like I just can't wait to show her the world. I'm nervous about that. You gonna be coming with us too, though. Yeah. Were all the things you heard about childbirth accurate, exaggerated, or dimmed down? Accurate. Childbirth for me was horrible. Like I'm not one for pain. I hate cramps. I, I used to, when I was a teenager. I used to have these bad cramps where I used to roll. Roll around on the floor, want to go tell my mom to take me to the emergency room. Like, I, so, when I had her and I went to labor, and she was a little baby. She was four pounds, seven ounces. She was small. She ripped me. I got four stitches for such a small baby. Like, it was terrible for me. I was screaming. Like, I said, literally, on this delivery table when I was delivering her, I was telling them to take her out. Please take her out. And it was too late. They couldn't take her out. So I had to, I had a vaginal birth. I, oh. I had to push. And I screamed to the top of my lung, I'm never doing this again. And I didn't. So I don't know how women have more than like a bunch of kids. How do you do that so many times? But I said the same exact thing. It hurts. Wait, so after you got four stitches, do you feel the pain still? Like, I hear some people still feel the pain. Your vagina's sore, but, you know, once the baby, once you push the baby out, it's a relief. Everything's going away. But, you know, you, you, you're going to still be sore down there. I felt them, you don't feel them cut because you're numb. So, I felt the cut. I felt it pierce, but I didn't feel the pain. Oh, my God. But I felt the rip. But you'll be fine. Like everybody's different too. Everybody's different. Some people have labor easy. Some people have labor hard. Some people are in labor for days. Some people are in labor for freaking an hour. It's different. You think I'm gonna be easy? I hope so. You you're 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 an athlete. You've been an athlete. I have not been an athlete so, in years. Well since college. Yeah, that was two years ago. She's she's been. I didn't even cheer my last year. She's always been athletic, so I think that she'll be able to handle this because she's always been athletic, and I think like you know she'll be able to deal. Um, I was in labor with her for nine hours, so that's not bad though. No, I be having people be in labor for like forty eight hours. Like people in the hours for week, a week, days, seventy two hours. I want to be in and out. I don't. I do not want to be in hospital for long. All right. So what would be your advice to be about? Labor, she says about labor, childbirth, and early motherhood. Well, labor, we're gonna. I'm so sad you can't be there. You have support. I don't know. We don't know that yet. We're gonna speak it into existence. Um, hopefully by August. You have support. She needs me there. Yes. This is her first baby. She needs me there to support her, to coach her through it, to help her. I'm like, mom. So I'm hoping that by August, like we can, we'll be able to do that. Ooh. Um, but you just have to relax. You have to relax. You have to be calm. You have to think of Navy safety and you have to be calm so the nurses and doctors treat you right. Because when you act stupid, they kind of get pissed off with you and they treat you bad. So you have to just, you know, but you're sweet. You're fine. Everybody loves you, so you'll be fine. Just relax, be calm, pray to Jehovah, and you'll be fine. You think, like, what type of mom do you think I'm going to be? Because Hakeem swears that. What kind of parents do you think we're going to be, like, individually? And because he swears uh, I'm gonna be this pushover. Like, I have no idea. You, don't you know? no you. Dave is gonna be silly. Dave are both silly. They're comical. She is comical and silly. She's she was all a silly little girl, always silly, doing something giggling and hee hee ha ha. So Navy's already gonna be silly. The baby was smiling in the sonogram. I ain't never seen a baby smile in a sonogram. So I already know she's gonna be silly, and she's a nonstop mover. So she's gonna be bouncing and jumping around nonstop. I already know. I you would I, I I can't wait to see the type of parent you and Hakeem are gonna be. And she's our son. Like Sag and Leo are good friends. Like we're good friends compatible. But then she's a Leo like Hakeem, so she could be stubborn. Oh, she's gonna be all she, that. Yeah, she's gonna be little Miss Sassy. Like I I can't wait to see how she's gonna be. She's gonna be all of that. This is supposed to be the part of the video when I was like caught you off guard. Like if you could tell your granddaughter. Anything in the world right now, what would it be? And he was gonna be like, granddaughter, and I was gonna go. Psh. 
That would have been so cute, right? Yeah. You messed it up. Because I was like, it's a girl. I knew it was going to be a girl. <laughs> but I'm excited it's going to be good because little girls are so much fun. You can dress them up and stuff. Yes. It's so much fun. And then it's just like grandma, mom, Nate. Like, you know, we got to take our cute little pictures and stuff. I'm happy. I'm happy too. I'm excited. I can't wait to meet her. We got a few more weeks and it's just creeping. But I'm excited. I can't wait to meet her. What would you tell her right now? That I love you so, 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 so much. And I cannot, Grandma cannot wait to meet you and hold you and kiss you and spend time with you and bake with you and talk to you and sing to you and read to you. And take you to the meeting. <laughs> and take you to the meeting, yes. Oh, she's probably smiling. Oh, she moved. Did she, she? Yeah, I haven't felt her moving like a whole two hours. Oh yeah, she's moving. You hear grandma talking to and you? And she hear her grandma. She hear her mama. That's right, you hear mama. Aww. So cute.